I want to talk about a hallmark of being in ego. How do we know when we're in ego? And it's a, a little um, pointer for us, a little way to figure out, am I in my ego here? And it is essentially when we find ourselves in no-win situations. It's a really good indicator that I'm probably in my ego or in ego consciousness. So what do I mean by a no-win situation? Well, it's like you're usually faced with these two options and none of them look good. In fact, it looks as if no matter what you do, you're stuck. If we feel that stuckness, we're probably in ego. So an example might be, I feel horrible with the way my body looks, okay? And um, the way I'm eating and the way I'm living my life is not working. So that's a no-win, that's a no-win. But then, on the other hand, if I diet, I'm going to experience failure and disappointment all over again. Whichever one of those options you choose, it's no-win. Another example might be, I'm in a relationship and it's not working and I don't feel happy. In fact, I feel terrible in this relationship. It's no win. However, if I leave this relationship, I'll be alone again and starting over a new relationship. That doesn't sound like a win either. So you find yourself in this stuckness. So the, the way we get stuck in it and the way we stay in it is that we stay in the ego and what we do is we try and solve the unsolvable. And the question is, there needs to be, it's like we're trying to figure out which of these should I do. Both of them look bad, so therefore we fail to make any choice at all. We stay in that stuckness. Or we just, the status quo remains. And it's this weighing up of options. Weighing up, well, um, sort of analyzing and sort of rehashing why the situation I'm in right now isn't working, it's not working, it's terrible, but this is also really, really hard, this is really hard. And we just keep recycling these thoughts over and over again, and therefore we stay in ego. So the idea is essentially, there's a secret choice to be made when you, you find yourself in an unwinnable situation like that. And essentially it's the decision to put the ego down. It's a decision against the ego. So firstly, you will be an awareness of, here I go, I'm, I'm caught in my ego again. But you don't have to beat yourself up about that. We all get caught in our ego, in ego consciousness. But you certainly don't beat yourself up about it. You just notice firstly, this is ego, okay? And the choice is, I want to put it down. I want to have a different experience. I want to see things differently. With the awareness of how I'm currently seeing it does not work and can't. It's set up to not work. It, it's unsolvable. And that's a choice. Essentially, you, you could say it's also a choice to change your mind. Change the mindset you're in. The mindset from which you are perceiving the current problem. Now, Course in Miracles says we only ever have one problem. And it's not to do with my relationship status or my body type or any of that stuff or my financial sta uh, statements, my bank accounts, for instance. That's not the problem we actually have. The real problem we have is the mindset that we occupy. So, and that ego is all about separation, isolation. It's me and my unique problems and I have to solve it alone. The alternative to that is the higher self or the Holy Spirit, the, the A Course in Miracles refers to, which is a unifying mindset, which is grounded in acceptance, love, patience for yourself. The ego will rush you all day long. Hurry up, you need to figure this out. The ego will tell you what you need to do, what you should do, what you have to do all the time, incessantly. It never stops with that. It always finds grievances with the current situation you have in your life. It will always find some grievance. It doesn't matter what your lifestyle is like. You know, you could have a million dollars in your bank account and you could be living in a beautiful place and everything else. The ego will find a grievance with the present moment as it sees it. So we only have one problem according to A Course in Miracles, which is I need to choose again. I need to change 
my mind or my mindset about how I see things. And the ego will have me do it all by myself. The Holy Spirit involves that mindset, that higher level of consciousness is about joining with something other than this egoic self-perception. And that comes with a little bit of surrender. Because the ego doesn't want to surrender anything. It wants to have control. It wants to figure things out all the time. So we're putting down control of it. We're putting down our own tendency and desire to fix every problem by ourselves. Instead of just saying, I'm going to put that down. I'm going around in circles with this. I'm just going to put that down for now. And I'm going to ask to join with a mindset that is more compassionate, patient, understanding, loving. From that place, all problems look very different. In fact, they don't even look like problems anymore. So, this this it's a, it's a, it's a very um, it's a very profound, massive claim that the a Course in Miracles makes. We only ever have one problem. You know, we might say, "Well, if I, I've had six more problems this morning already. Never mind this week or this year." But it says, "No, all problems are the same." When we're in that mindset that is not of the ego, there are no grievances with the current moment. There's a complete acceptance of the current moment, and it's not judged as inadequate. It's judged as perfectly fine for what it is in the moment. And then there can be ways to express ourselves or to using compassion to grow, which is a natural tendency for all human beings to do. But when we're in that new mindset, it's a lot easier to do that when we don't have these grievances and these demands placed on ourselves and the tendency to control everything. And so it's about letting go of the problems as we see them. The problems in themselves are not the problem. It's the, it's the, it's the way that we are perceiving the problems is the problem, primarily. It's only our only problem, according to the Course. So that's just a, a thought to keep in mind. It's an invitation. This is the call to action in this video. If you've been debating back and forth between a problem that seems unsolvable to you, realize that it's not a matter of finding the right answer or the correct answer or figuring it all out or controlling things more and tweaking things necessarily. Instead, it's just about letting go of how you currently see the problem. Okay, Letting go of control and the need to figure it out. And what you will notice if you can do that and you can invite in a different mindset. In fact, you'll, if you can put, put down the ego, you're automatically in the, automa in the other mindset anyway. But when you're in that place, there will be some... Usually what happens is you'll find that nothing needs to change or something that is incredibly obvious that you are somehow... Well, the ego was leading you to overlook. It becomes very apparent very, very easily. When there's no guilt, when there's no shame, when there's no fear, when there's no desire to be isolated and cut off, these um, so-called problems have a very funny way of resolving themselves very quickly. So, if it again, if it is one of those issues that you've been struggling with, and you've been debating back and forth, and if I do this, it won't work, and if I do that, it won't work, realize, okay, deep breath. This is in ego. And my goal here is to just let go how I'm perceiving this problem. And you may not get the answer or an insight if there needs to be one immediately, but if you do that, you will definitely get some new way of seeing it. If you consciously, deliberately say, I want to put this down, I want to stop how I'm seeing this, you will get some sort of a new insightful way to perceive what you're, what you're going through. So that's how you know you're in your ego. If you are in an unwinnable situation, and if it's a damn, damned if I do, damned if I don't, that's ego. Hope that's useful, guys. And I will talk with you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.